Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Richard and James reselling podcast number one with number myself one. and with James. Number James, one, even. Number one. Number, number one. one. We're number here. This one. is the first one. We're here, and um, it's going to be me and James chatting between ourselves. Obviously, we're just we're just bringing you in at the start um, to introduce you to it. Um, disclaimer: Now, it may get the the air may turn blue every now and again. Okay. Um, okay. It's you know when me and James tend to talk, uh, and and you lot aren't around, um, it's a bit different. So hopefully, you'll enjoy this one. Yeah, definitely. Um, the subject matter um this week we're gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit each time and this on the first one james has chosen the subject i don't even know what the subject is first of so, all it's uh subjects as well just to really throw uh, it out subjects there. right so on this first one i have no clue what the subjects are james has chosen them so we're just we're just going to go with it and then obviously sometime in the future i'll choose and then if something big happens in the reselling world then we'll obviously pick oh, up on that and we'll talk 100%. about it um but like i say at the moment this is the first one oh it's and, exciting isn't it yeah it, it is exciting <laughs> it's it exciting actually it's like, it woo, exciting. fireworks are like flying yeah. out but you know yeah. what like it's almost like we, we do we've been doing we've been doing every single saturday 7 30 we've been doing the Saturday night live show for now coming on um, 11 months. Yeah. And it's almost like, it's, it's like, it's new. It's a weird feeling. It's like almost I'm looking to the right yeah. and there's nothing there. Like normally you've got the chat coming in yeah, and we say hi, our hellos and they can kind of help us know where we're going to go with our directions. But yeah, yeah it's going to, it's going to, it's kind of weird not having people there, but also I feel that when we kind of get in our groove, which I'm sure we will on this one, but as we keep mm. doing the podcast, we'll get, we'll, we'll find our own groove. But I feel like we can have them conversations without the interruptions. We can have the focus. And as Richard said, so it's, it's a Richard and James reselling podcast. The thing is to kind of talk about things reselling. And that might be, that might be from people. We were going to try and get people that do maybe Amazon people that maybe use other platforms, whether it's Depop or maybe people who just sell at boot sales or people that buy to sell, you know, you might be a shopkeeper. There's lots of people that we know that maybe wouldn't have suited the Saturday Night Live, uh, but this is going to be aimed at kind of all them type of businesses. And also there's a lot of people when we do Saturday Night Live that can't make the, the yeah. Saturday Night Live yeah. because they're family commitments. Exactly. And this this will allow well, us they're, to they're of... either cooking dinner or recording cocktail videos some of them <laughs> i have no idea who you're talking about driving oh, no. through tunnels <laughs> and revving that car <laughs> engine <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know who that could be no idea no idea <laughs> he, he has no idea about good quality clothes oh god women. no oh jeez no that no don't no idea don't. i don't but... know you're talking about but without further ado, I just want to say thank you very much if you are watching this and do enjoy it, uh, because you know what, it's it, it's just fun and and I, I I'm I'm enjoying it. And if it's just me and you watching this, back, Richard, then fair yeah. play. I'm just happy exactly. to be watching. Do you know what? Back. And 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 the funny thing is, I'm more nervous doing this without everybody there, which is really <laughs> weird because I think, think, you think I think you'd be nervous with an audience no, but actually it's it's more nerve-wracking doing this i suppose as well because it's new it's the first one but we'll be we'll be fine we'll be right yeah yeah i, I think it's just the anticipation of us who's going to say the first wrong word and, I, and, and, and as well i suppose because i haven't got a clue what we're talking about so oh yeah well i, I suppose that, that's good so you'd be happy to hear today's subjects are all about um reselling and ebay so i'm going to kind of keep it ebay related just because for those that don't uh, don't know us especially because if you're watching this what i want to do as well i'm going to do a quick i may as well do a quick uh brief about who i am and what i do richard mm. i'll let you do a quick brief and what you do we'll try mm -hmm. not to do it further forward because yeah. if you someone might be watching this right yeah? so just to kind of put a stamp out there it's currently uh what are we in are we in april april may april June, yeah July? april so we're currently in april at the moment 28th i think and, and what year is it uh 2022 the last time i've I looked 
<laughs> okay, so so just to put a, a timestamp on this, because someone might be watching this in the distant future. Um, so that's where that's we are, and how it currently stands is that I have been a full time reseller since the start of this year, officially in January. I left my full time job uh, because I just wasn't happy in it, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll have a conversation into depth with that at some point. And now I'm doing eBay full time. And I'm kind of going through the changes of someone who was doing it part time into full time. And I'm learning all the time. So I, I kind of come across a lot of hurdles. A lot of them hurdles that I've come across recently is kind of motivation, uh, is kind of the difference between getting more stock because something that you don't take into consideration when you're part-time is that when you're part-time, your cash flow seems like it never ends. You've always got a hundred pounds spare, but when mm, you're paying 1,200, one and a half thousand pounds, I don't know what your, your bills are, but that's where my budget is. And that's all, yeah, that's my bills that's paid. <laughs> and then, and then you're like, Oh, where's the rest of this money? So the, the, the things that I've obviously been learning um, to kind of talk about myself is just like, you have to do more. And if you're not doing more, there's no, there's no guy at the end of the month that's going to go, you know what, James, even though you haven't done that much work, we'll still pay all your bills. Yeah. So, um, and it's sort of like, you know, when you're at work and the boss is on your back and you think, oh, get off my back. You've got to get on your own back. Or if, or, or, or if you're me and you've got a James, James will get on your back. Believe oh, 100%, me. hundred percent. And I appreciate it, the fact that he does. Cause if he didn't, I'd be in trouble. Hundred percent, and and if I'm not on your back, Richard, that's when you know you. That's when you know it's gone wrong. That, yeah, like if I'm, that yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. So, so, so I'm a full time eBay reseller. That's the only platform I use. I'm a firm believer of that. I'm a, if you're going to do a job, do it right. And at the moment, I'm not doing eBay nowhere near enough to justify me going to any other platforms just yet. Probably in the future, I'm going to try other platforms. And for those that do 101 platforms. Fair play to you, because you, I'm sure you're doing amazing. But I am not co constantly up there. I, I need to be. I need to be earning double the money that I am to even then invest on other platform. So my knowledge is eBay. It's I started in lockdown from part time to full time. It's my all my bills are paid for. Touch wood, banging wood. There we go. Um, I didn't do anything naughty. You might notice. Uh, so <laughs> I didn't do the old. Yeah. Uh, uh, so touch wood obviously I, I'm, I'm doing what I need to but I just want to kind of grow and grow and grow so when you are watching a podcast when you're listening to this I'm not some guy who's turning over 10 million pounds you know I'm I'm, I'm making enough to pay one and a half thousand to one uh, 1,300 each month I'm achieving that and my business is growing month on month on month and that's where I come from in regards to everything that I'm going to talk about from this podcast going further forward. That's where I stand. And, as of and, where, and, and the money you're earning, bearing in mind, you haven't, you've only been full time for, for how long full time now? Three to four months now. Three to Three four to months. Four. That, that's, yeah. that's good going that you've, yeah. you've gone from your part time and then you've got rid of your job and you're going full time and you're earning, you're, you're paying your bills already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You're obviously doing something right, so I just want to, you know, sort of say good on you, sort of thing, because you know Thanks, you have God. done, you have done well, mate. To, honestly, and you have done well. For, for, as I said, for me, the the hardest part is that consistency, and and I and I will talk about that in the subjects that we're going to approach to this evening, because oh. some of the subjects we'll talk about, I reckon there'll be some people, and if you take it personally, without being rude, I couldn't give a flying monkeys because <laughs> because. Because I'm um, because when we're going to talk about these things on the podcast, some people will probably be putting in the comments. They're probably going to get a bit upset. They probably will take it personally. And if it is, then 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 do something about it. Because when you have your own business, unless you are incredibly successful and have a lot of staff, you need to be accountable for your own actions. So that's a bit that about includes, me. That, Richard, that includes me. 100%. So that's a bit about me, whereabouts I am, where I stand. How long have you been doing re reselling? Obviously, you don't need to know the full in ins and outs of it, but whereabouts are no. you? What are you What are you focusing on? And, you know, what's your... Now, I'm just focusing on, obviously, getting back to where I was before 
all the dramas happened in my life. For those that know me, you know what's, what I've been through and what's happened. Um, for those that don't, if you go back and watch my videos, I'm sure you'll find out. Or we'll probably we, we'll probably even talk about it in a future podcast. To be honest, because yeah. it is it is a big part of my reselling journey and why I haven't been on as on the ball as much the past eight months, uh, nearly nine months, and why it's been such a struggle for me. You know, it it can you know it, I don't not confuses me, but it it just it. it I don't know how to, how to explain it, but when I was on my game and I was really up there, I mean, I start, let's, let's start from the beginning, right? I was made furloughed on the 1st of April. I thought it was a joke. 1st of April. Do you mind going on furlough? No. Well, yeah, really. But you know, we had all the thing that they were going to make up my wages with the 20% and you know, cause you get paid 80% and this, that and the other. Just so you um, know, COVID, we're talking COVID. We're talking, we're talking, COVID we're, talking we're talking COVID. We're not talking. They just wanted to lay me off. Um, yeah. and so, yeah, so that was on the 1st of April. Um, on the 8th of April, I got some bad news about a family member. So, june or july i think it was i got called back to work and i started while i was off i started selling my stuff around the house to try and make up the wages which is what it was about um and while i was off i was buying bits i was selling bits um i started making some youtube videos watching other resellers um you know i bought and sold since since 2000 since the early 2000s well most of my life really let's get that get that straight Film props I got into it in the 2000s with my brother. Um, we were doing that together and then separately. So always bought and sold stuff, probably since my 20s. Um, and then I got made furloughed and then the bad news happened. So when I went back to work, they called back and I gave two weeks notice for various reasons. And so it sort of, it was more than thinking, right, I've done so long part time. Now I'm ready to go full time. I was sort of pushed into it for this, that, and the other. So uh, it was just a situation. I had no choice but to 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 leave my job and and go full time selling. Um, and that's how I really got into it. And that was the first of April, twenty twenty. So I've just been doing it for just over two years, really. Two years now, yeah. That's mm. good going. And as you said, you're selling things from movie props to everything else that we're doing. Anything, uh, everything, moment, vintage, uh, board games, jigs, or whatever uh, it is. If I can make money on it, I'll sell it. Definitely. And at the moment, both of us are talking about kind of learning a bit more about clothing, but that's because we can yeah. both understand that when the boot sales dry up, you need to kind of focus on something that's achievable for out mm. of 12 months. And it might be clothing at the moment, then it might be something else next year. Like, and I think we'll talk more about that as well on other podcasts as well. Maybe this evening, I don't know. But um, uh, to be successful, you cannot see items as anything else apart from a means to make more money and pay the bills. You know, you cannot be attached with items. And we'll talk about, I'm sure we'll talk about that and and kind of go into why, why we think that. It's not to say that people can't be attached to items because we, some of the people that watch the 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 saturday night lives that have been on the saturday night live they have collections which are phenomenal on different things that they mm. collect be movie memorabilia whether it be figures and toys whether it be uh collectible stuff you know some people fund reselling to fund their lifestyle and i'm not saying that yeah. whatsoever what i'm yeah. saying is it's that from a business point of view to be successful it's just got to be you've it's, it's a means to a, a way in and a way out and money in and money out so mm. Without further ado, like we're 15 <laughs> minutes in, so I thought that was quite a good, that's quite That's comfortable. not bad going. That's not little, bad going. We are what we are type of thing. Nice so, little, so easy, easy, easy in gently. Easy, easy in, easy <laughs> in. And if they're watching this at two times, which some people do, we'll just go, yeah. and they'll go, oh, one second, did I click four times speed then? <laughs> I think you'll be listening to a scat man. <laughs> do we'll do one time is we'll take a shed load of pre-workout when we do a podcast one time and we'll just sit, say it really really fast 
<laughs> that somebody watches it at two times speed and be like, what the heck? They'd be thinking on? it's on two times speed and it'll be on 0.5. It'd be brilliant. So, um, my first fun, uh, subject, okay, is is eBay the enemy? Weird one, isn't it? I bet you weren't mm. expecting that, but is eBay no, the enemy? Now, now, what I mean by that is I. I'm, uh, and this is my opinion, and I told you we'll be going hot under the collar stuff, but <clears throat> I'm sick and tired of people on on Facebook coming in with problems. And it and and I'll I'll give I'll list just a few, and you can go on any Facebook reselling group. But in most most groups, but let's just focus on eBay. Um, most groups is uh, uh, this is I'm not getting sales. It's a good one to go with. I'm not getting sales. eBay's quiet. Is everyone else having this problem? This isn't doing this. I'm not getting this. I'm not getting that. Right. I, I'm, and, 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 and that, 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 sounds that, like me. <laughs> that mentality, but that mentality is eBay is the enemy. It's eBay's fault. The reason why I'm not getting sales is because of eBay. My mm. traffic is down from last year. That's because of eBay. And I, I, and, couldn't, and, even, so, I couldn't even tell you what my traffic was last year. I've never <laughs> ever looked at what my traffic's been on eBay. I wouldn't have a clue. And I well, always moan about eBay. So, 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 so. First of all, I, I, I want to kind of, you know, I, I want to kind of put my point across, and I want to say that the difference between a, a, the mentality of kind of me going full time is that eBay is not the enemy. And first of all, if eBay is the enemy, and 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 just a heads up the language is going to change so if you wish to get children out of the room <laughs> the language is about to get stepped up so we're going to use a few p words and a, and, and a few words now going further forward in the podcast but if 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 you don't want to be eBay, then if you don't want to be on eBay, then piss off as far as i'm concerned because oh. as far oh no what's happened so as far as i'm concerned is that oh, there is oh, other oh, application oh. there is other applications there's depop there's vinted there's etsy just go on them just go on them because I'll tell you an interesting fact about that. What, what, what Etsy and Depop and eBay and all uh, uh, everyone apart from eBay and Amazon, obviously, but Depop, Vinted, go and have a look at their yearly traffic. Go and have a look at what they get in a year, and 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 that's that's not even what I bet it doesn't even amount what eBay gets in a day or two days. And the point is, is that is that a lot of people are quick to say it's someone else's fault. It's it's the cat. It's it, it's like the it's like the old saying of the workman who blames his tools. Yeah. Mm. Oh well, if I had a better drill, this wouldn't have happened. Well, if I had the right nails, this wouldn't happen. Oh, you know what? It's because of the weather why I can't do this. Mm. A, and 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 it comes back to that: the, a poor work person blames their tools. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if you're not making sales, what are you doing about it? So, are you listing? Are you so so an example that I did over the last last year? And, and as I said, I'm not someone who's a millionaire. So I'm not telling you from someone who who is who is a millionaire. I'm just telling you from a guy who is paying his full time bills and I'm getting by and I'm and I'm and it's working for me. What I did this last month is I did exactly that. I went, oh, you know, like I, I was listening to everyone. And I was going, everyone else's sales are down. And I was going, I was going, maybe it is eBay. So what I did is I said to you, and, and, and you can vouch for me for this, Richard, is yeah. every single day over this last month, I spent the morning pulling off 10 listings off my eBay store, and I retitled, I repriced, and I have changed my promotion on my eBay from 2% to 5%, and I've made quite radical changes in my store, pulling off the items, looking at my titles, looking at my descriptions, and then on top of that, listing 10 items every single day cons consecutively. So I've increased my promotion. I have made sure that my titles read correctly. And I have made sure that my descriptions are as, as much as I can do. I'm not put go gobbledygook in there because I used to put NA and all this type of stuff or fill out a box that would hopefully be right. But if, 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 if you're not putting an accurate information inside them boxes, then leave them blank. So, so I filled all that. And my, my sales have kind of, I think I said to you the other day, I think my increases are going up by 40%. Yeah. And, and, and it's because I've taken action of my, I've taken account for my own actions. I've gone, eBay is quiet. eBay is dead. And, and this is the time of year that is quiet, but what mm. could I be doing? So as long as you are naturally listing more, as long as you mm. are 
trying to look at your listings, as long as you're looking at your titles, as long as you're doing that, then you should see a natural increase. And and it, it's like they say, if you have if you have a hundred item store, you've got a hundred hooks in the water. If you have a thousand item store, you've got a thousand hooks in the water. And as long as you've got good clear photos, good clear descriptions, good titles, good everything, and then you're constantly doing it as well. And that's the other key as well, consistency. I've consistently done it and I've seen an increase on send offers. Uh, I've seen traffic increases, everything I've done. And the biggest thing is that I'm not now seeing eBay as a problem. If I have, if, if I have a problem with eBay, then get, I'm, I shouldn't be on the platform. Yeah, but and, we, and we've for... all we've all done it, and we've all. Oh, no. I mean, I, I said to you the other week, and I it was it was all when this daily refinement thing blew up, and I said to you, I used to phone up eBay if there was a problem, and I used to go, "Do you oh, yeah. know how much money I put through eBay? Do you know how much money I earn you, and you take off of me? Do you know how?" how big on on your platform i am sort of thing do you know what i mean and come on jesus you know it's only when you sort of see things like that and you see that you know and i, I used to think that saying things like that to them would actually make a difference and make them think oh no we don't want to lose him as a as a customer so what we'll have to do is we better get on this and we better we better keep him happy no chance no, no. chance and don't get me wrong, you're talking about a, a couple of hundred thousand pounds that you've put through eBay and some. So you, you are, you are. let's just rewind it back. Forget daily refinement. You're talking about a good, a, a, someone's house would have probably been paid off the amount of money that you and your brother have put through eBay. Yeah. So it's not to be sniffed at. It's not like you're talking about 40,000. No. You're talking no. in good figures. And I, and, and I don't want to go into them, but I know the, the amounts that you're talking about. It's serious amounts of money. Yeah. But when you realise that trainers alone last year he turned he's talking about two point six million pounds turnover. It weren't like, nothing like that. <laughs> it you like you, you realise that if if that's the umph that he just means nothing to them, then yeah. then 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 eBay but eBay are not the enemy. They they really are not. And 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 if you're if you're going into the workplace, it's 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 the same mentality. If you go into your job and I used to have that. And if you're hating your job and they're the problem and they're the reason why you're not happy, you are not going to perform well in that job. So if you're a cleaner and you're like, Borough Council is the problem. They don't look after me. They don't pay my wages. They don't. You're going to do a shit job. You, you're not going to do a good job. You, you'll do a half-hearted job for them. You'll, you'll, you'll turn up on time. You'll wear well, uniform. Also, I also think that eBay don't help themselves sometimes when, you know, automatically that if if someone says that they've got an item that's not received or it doesn't look right or blah de blah and sometimes you know like over christmas with the consoles and that it was just a free rental for people yeah and you know that when ebay go on their side it pisses you off you hate ebay you think they're crap you think they're against the settlers you know and i i do it all the time you know I've had them on the phone saying, you don't care about your sellers. All you care about is buyers and the money you're making. You don't give a shit about us. Do you know what I mean? And and when I'm ranting about it, I believe it. It's only when you sort of stand back and you think, hmm. But I still think, I still think that they could do more to give themselves a better name. I think they give, give themselves a bad name by doing things like that, by sort of basically shitting on us sometimes. Oh. There's, there's a lot of things that I don't agree with eBay. Do I agree that I have to list consistently every single day and I have to have a draft bank and I have to do that every single day? No, I think it's shit. I think it should be like Amazon. I think I should be able to put my price and if my price is cheaper than someone else's, I should rank better. Yeah. But it's not like that. And eBay isn't like that. And as soon as you get realized what the platform's like, basically eBay rewards you for consistency. They they have an algorithm in the background and they can see how many times you're on your app, how many times you're active, how many times you're listing, how quick you respond to messages. Um, another top tip as well that I've recently looked into as well, um, and it's not proven, but it seems to be quite, quite. Uh, if, if you get an offer and someone up, say you got an item at £100 and you're instantly declining it, I, I swear there's a bit of a stat and reading up about it and listening to other people who are way more successful than me, it's better to put a counter and a reply and just say to them, 
rather than instant decline because it's not a good customer experience. And so, so I get what you're saying. The issue is, is that, but the, the but then eBay, I, I would say as well, them, them scenarios with the consoles, the renting this, that, and the other, and all that type of stuff is, is if, if I'm going to sell consoles for a living, um, I'm going to be aware that people are going to rent stuff. And I was aware I used to sell Wii's. If you go back to when I first started, yeah. my bread and butter was consoles. I yep. do not do that anymore because I didn't want, it's not necessarily even eBay, eBay's fault. I could go on most platforms and a lot of people do that. And if there is a way, and sadly, I think there was people on TikTok or whatever promoting this saying, if you want to rent a game, you want to rent a DVD. And that's why I've gone into clothing because most people don't really want to hire a clothes, you know, unless someone wants to borrow a dress, which yeah, I'm but, sure people I mean, that, that was just one factor of it. I mean, another thing that annoys me is the fact of when someone gets something, they receive it, they don't even message you, they don't contact you, they don't even contact eBay. What they do is they just leave you an instant negative. Now, I phoned eBay about this and I've said they haven't made any contact with me. Um, they haven't said anything. They're not happy or this, that or the other. I've just gone and left the negative. Please, can you remove the negative? Because I think it's unfair. They haven't even given me a chance to do the right thing, be a do good customer service and, yeah, and yeah. you know, prove that I'm doing what a seller should do. And they, and they just say, well, that's the seller's got their own right to, to what they, to their own opinion on how the, how the thing went. I said, but they didn't talk to me. So how can you say that you're not going to remove the feedback? And then I'll just get the arm and slam the phone down. I get but that. that's well, another thing that I think is wrong. I, I think that's wrong about eBay that they'll I just mean, let that ride. And there's a lot of other people. Agree with that. And there's a lot of other people though that fight it or f fight it for a different reason and it gets removed. But like if someone doesn't actually, they should have to go through a process before they actually are able to leave you a negative. They should contact 100%. yourself. If they get no joy with you, then they contact eBay. After they've contacted eBay, they go through the motions with them and eBay say, right now, okay, we've looked, we've checked. He's not, he's not corresponding with you. You've tried to contact the seller. He's having none of it. Okay, you've told us what you've just told us. We've written it all down. Now you can leave him a negative. That's the process it should be, but it's but it's not. It's not. No, it's not. And it's, and it's never going to be either. But it's yeah. But but, no, but, I, but I would just say to you the same as I started the conversation. We'll piss off from eBay then. Okay. No, but not in a <laughs> but not in a rude way. But seriously, that is that's the situation it is. And the only other way is that there are certain ways you can approach it. Now, now the 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 only thing that I've learned about how to challenge eBay. He's not to even tell them why you're right. Mm. Ask them, bring them up next time. And this generally try this technique, and it, this is this is what I'm going to do going further forward. And this is what I've learned from much more successful business people that are smashing it way more than me. They said, do the following. It's, it's not talking about me, by the way. Ring, ring eBay. Explain to them why you call him. Then ask them. What do I need to do to get that removed? As long as you ask them what you need to do to get it removed, and then you then follow their actions, and then if they're at, and then that's and it, so the buyer doesn't respond, so they say you need to contact the buyer and ask if they can remove it, and they don't. Then when you come back to them, then they have no you have no other way to fall back because you have taken ownership as well. Mm -hmm. The other thing is as well is not to try and resolve it yourself as well sometimes it's better just to to call ebay as soon as it's happened and ask them what to need to do because they'll always the and if the person doesn't uh, give you talk to you the first time you can ring again now i agree with you richard it is time consuming it is a waste of time and the other thing is just to take it on the chin because some of the biggest stores and the most successful people especially in the uk some of theirs are at eight ninety eight percent ninety six percent percent, yeah. and that's the other way that's the other way to kind of look at it and the thing is we could there's all the ebay has a lot of faults i agree with that there's there's the the fact is that they are more customer customer focused than seller focused the, mm. they they don't they don't have our back as much as what they should but but what i'm saying to you ebay um richard is that if you're naturally going to start your day and you're thinking in your head ebay is the enemy hmm 
and that's why I bring this I up. I don't get it's, up and think it. It's it's by the time I've had a couple of hours on eBay, <laughs> they convince me that yeah, they convince me that they're the enemy. So like then I start getting the old the old camouflage uniform on and start going all Johnny Rambo. But the I, thing I is, the difference being is I've been on eBay since the early two thousands. Now there was a lot less of this like customers leaving negatives for just because they woke up and they've not someone's not made them breakfast or they got out of the wrong side of the bed you know a lot of people get up with the ump something minute has happened and they, they they go all negative on you years ago when i started you used to be able to leave them neutrals and negatives for that same transaction you now did. what i find from back then to now is there was a lot less of the negatives being thrown about because because you both had the power you both had the power exactly right exactly it right it, it was a different it was a different game but the only thing i will say is that the reason why i want to bring that subject isn't to talk about what it was what it could be what we think it should be it's what it is and what i'm saying is is that for me personally this month start i've stopped seeing ebay as the reason why i'm not getting sales and i've started taking ownership for my own actions do i think it, yeah. it, it ebay is the perfect platform no not at all do i think ebay uh are gonna probably not have my back over the next year or two years or however many years i'm gonna sell them yeah 100 100 100 percent. they are not perfect they're not always gonna have my back there's probably going to be days whereabouts I'm going to smash my head against the wall and feel like I'm not getting anywhere. But I am not in an office job that I don't want to be in thanks to that platform. They are a platform that is getting me my customers. They're spending millions of pounds each day on advertisement on Google adverts. They are getting me customers coming through my door. I don't have a bricks and mortar store and I've got customers up and down the country all around the world buying from me because of what their platform brings. And as far as I'm concerned, I'll take some sh some shitty negatives and some crappy <laughs> negatives if I don't have to go into some shitty office and speak to some guy. And, and it's the same conversation every week. How was your weekend? And I used to say, oh, I've been to the lakes. I've gone out partying. I've gone out and done this. I've, 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 I've you know, me and the mm. family, we've gone and done this, that. We're going to have done a pottery class. And then they go, oh, yeah, I just went at pub and got pissed. And I'm, uh, you know, and there's not wrong with that, not wrong with that, but that their story is the same all the time. And I'm just like, like I, I want to be around people who have just got a little bit of something about them. I want to, and that's yeah. why I love the reselling community because most people are doing reselling, they're doing it to make a difference. Whether that's they want to get out of what they're doing and they want to work for themselves, whether it's because they want to earn a bit of extra money because they want to get a nice car. Like we know someone who's got a really nice car out of it. Whether yeah, or not. yeah, yeah. Here we go <laughs> again, Mister Porsche, <laughs> Porsche boy. Mister Porsche boy. But but it might be because they want to pay off the mortgage early. It might be because they want more holidays. It was like the other no, day. I was. No, at, I was he's, he's got one because he wants people to think he's posh. Well, of course. He, I, <laughs> look, look I, 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 could, I could. I could drive. Is posh. I, could drive me, I posh. could drive. I could drive a Rolls Royce. As soon as I start talking, I'm not. Yeah, posh. It, yeah, it wouldn't make you <laughs> seem posh. Everyone, I think you stole it. Everyone, go. Where the hell did you nick that from, man? Yeah, where did you nick that from? So, the, and this is, and this is, and this is just the mindset that I wanted to talk about in this podcast. And it's that's my mindset. So I'm aware of all the faults, all the problems, all the rubbish that comes with it. But I am I am a hundred percent invested in eBay because of all the right reasons. And it's a bit like you and, and I not being not being funny. If you moan about it or not, you get you get like you now that is sort of saying, you know, eBay's, you know, they're giving me somewhere to make my living. And it's the same, it's the same for everyone. They're doing that for everybody. But you're still gonna get the, you know. I've lost my train of thought now where I was going with that. You're still going to get all the negatives. You're still going to get all the, the nicking. You're still going to get the stolen. You're still going to be out of pocket yeah. of money. Yeah. But but I would say every single bad day on eBay is 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 better than most best days in my other job. I just remember what I was going to say. It doesn't matter what you think of eBay, whether you think they're good or think they're crap, or you're going to leave, you're going to go somewhere else, you always come back to eBay. Yeah, 100%. You always come back to eBay. 100%. So you, you might say you're going and you might go, you might have a couple of weeks off, but you always come back and you know you do. We all do it. I'm guilty of it. <laughs> we always do it. Well, that's and, and that's why I wanted to bring this up on our first podcast. 
because I am not saying it's a perfect platform. I am just saying I am just subject. saying stop fucking seeing them as the enemy because they they are no, I know I know but I have done the warning so it's That's happened it. now. He's wound up now. He's wound up. No, but I, I'm I'm just for me it's all the pettiness. It's the fact is that someone's got the time to spend 20 minutes writing an essay on Facebook and put pictures along with it and tag around with it. Why don't you just not do that? And why don't you go and do two extra listings and get your money back? But you can relate that to the people that go and do a car boot and then tell you they could sell it for much more on eBay. Well, if you can sell it for much more on eBay, why are you standing at a car boot in the cold for five or six hours? Yeah, but don't. But but then if you're letting them get to you, then you're gonna let anyone get to you, mate. I don't let them get to me. I don't let them get to me. They're the ones. That's, they're the ones that sit standing in the cold for five or six hours. I'm only walking around for an hour or so. But... <laughs> exactly. No, but they I I want them people to be there because I smile and I go and I go yeah because 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 Zamia from. From from Italy, he's he's just about to drive over. He's just coming on his plane. He's just going to pay GSP prices. Here he is. Oh, you've got it for me. And go. I just think, and I just think, and, and I've moved on from that because I've done the boot sales. I've tried to have that argument with someone. Yeah. I've tried to have that conversation. And the only person that looks like a dick is me, but because I is, wasted my breath to try to is, explain it. They say, oh, I could get that on eBay, but they don't even use eBay. They're just using it because someone's, you know, said to them, oh, you get more than that on eBay. But, like, if you can get more than that on eBay, then it, don't go to a car boot. People go to car boots to get cheap stuff. Fair, fair play. But but the thing is, I, as I said... I said, someone's turn the key on my back now. Now, I'm, now just let me go. Just let me go. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, is that, is that, as I said, whether it's eBay, whether it's a boot, so whether it is, there is always them people. It's the same with the charity shops. The charity shop... You cannot be angry at the charity shops if you want to put the prices up. If they want to put the prices up, let them put the prices up. That's their business. But and it's the same reason. You can you know, be angry when they start going, oh, I hate you lot that do that. I hate you lot that do that. 100%. You've got 100%. your price on the tag. I'm just, my money's just as good as anybody else's, whether I take it away and resell it or not. If that's the price you want for it, that's the price I'm paying. I'm going. And I'm going to 100%. sell it. If I want to resell it, I'll resell it. But no, and I agree with that. A bit of but, a stigma. But we're not going to talk about that on today's podcast about oh, charity yeah. shops versus resellers. We'll Sorry. talk about that Sorry. some other time. Someone just, no, someone, just, someone just turned me key. A crown down. Crown someone down, just wound up the clockwork. Wound well, up the clockwork on me. But <laughs> bring, bring it back to the subject. eBay is not the enemy. The reason why I really wanted to bring it up is just to kind of say to people, if you're going into somewhere thinking that they're the enemy, that they're the problem, then you're never going to be able to kind of achieve what you want. Because if all you're seeing is red, then you're going to see red. If I tell you not to think about an elephant, you're going to think about an elephant. So what you've got to do is you've got to kind of stop seeing it as that and you've got to see it as your problem and what are you going to do to get it out. You might you might be like, right, I'm not making any sales. So sell on. And, and if eBay generally, you're doing all that. So you're doing everything I've said. You're taking your photos. You're doing your listings. You're doing your pricing. Then go and sell somewhere else where, mm. um, you know, there is other options. But realistically, list more. It, it it just comes back to the rods. If I've got one one rod baited up with some worms, or I've got ten rods, or I've got a thousand rods, and they're all good rods with good worms, that it logically says that I'm going to get more more. And it, and it goes without saying that the statistics are proof for themselves. As long as you are doing everything that they ask, which is clear photos, good titles, good descriptions, and the correct price, the price is key. But we will talk about price and we'll go into them into some more details. But I just wanted to say that we we'll start the podcast with a really good kind of same thing. And as I said, eBay isn't perfect. They, but they, they're the best that we have. <laughs> and, it's good, and it's good to talk about these things. If someone's new and just thinking about getting into eBay or they've been doing it part time and not really had the bad bits and they're thinking about doing it full time, you know, it's like, it's like going on holiday. If you go and, I don't know, if you go on holiday to Spain, it's lovely to have that little break and it's nice and you go home and then you go on holiday and then you go. But if you're living out there all the time, it gets a bit monotonous and, and thing and then the problems start setting in if you're doing yeah. something full time. So 
it is good it is good to talk about these things for those that are new or thinking about getting into reselling or just getting into reselling or just making the leap from part time to full time definitely so so we've talked about we've talked about uh, is eBay the enemy and we kind of I think we've hit some good subjects there and and also in the chat feel free to kind of let us know what you think about that um, no, no, there's no chat you're talking to me you're not talking to them you're oh no they're still me. still able to leave comments after they would have watched this video oh, yeah, i forgot about that oh, oh yeah yeah better be nice think... so it better be nice yeah so in the comments <laughs> so in the comments so you are right but it's not chatting the comments in the comments yeah, yeah um but um but yeah so we kind of so we're kind of like obviously talked about as i said there ebay is not the enemy then i want in in that i wanted to do a subject which were sub subject which we actually did which is taking ownership which is which is the biggest key and if you are going to kind of do this you need to really be accountable for your own actions you know and if you're a person who blames everyone else then i'm sorry but you, you that'll always be you if 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 the reason why why you didn't get out of bed is because your alarm clock didn't go off then let then it's because your alarm clock didn't go off but there is other ways you could have got out of bed you could have set multiple alarms you could have had a, a phone you could have had a clock you could do other things you just need to kind of take action for you know be accountable for your own actions and it's one mm. thing that i have really learned over these last four weeks is the difference from I just felt like from January, I really had all the passion in the world and I ran at eBay and I was like, yes, I can do it full time. And I did it. And then all of a sudden I was like, I just got relaxed and relaxed and relaxed and relaxed. And before I know it, I wasn't doing enough listings. My phone went ching, ching. I went, oh, I've got 80 pounds worth of sales. I was like, Oh, I've got to watch uh, Vikings. Take it easy. Take it a yeah. bit easy. Let's get a box <laughs> set out. What's on Netflix? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> watch them all. I watch them all. And the thing is, is that is that the difference being is that I wasn't taking actions. I wasn't taking ownership. I wasn't taking responsibility for my own actions as well. And just because it's good, that is the wrong time to take the foot off the accelerator. When it's good, that's when I should have been out there listing mm. more, doing more. Because the more that I list, the more I've got this big backlog. My store, to put it in context, when I started in January, I think it was four and a half thousand. And today, when I last checked, it's seven hundred, seven thousand nine hundred pounds. So I'm got, it's getting bigger. Now that's not a lot to some people. Some and, people listen. Well, it is because bearing but, in mind that you're selling stuff all the time, so yeah. you're replacing those items. Yeah, and that's you're it. replacing that money. So yeah, that's that's good going. And it'd be interesting because obviously, like I've I've timestamped this podcast, and it'd be interesting in in the future when you know in a year's time we come back to this and we go, oh, what's your store at now? And and I'd be like this, yeah. and it'd be really interesting to see you know how it grows because I I I personally as 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 a, as a business for those that have seen my videos or that have seen my Instagram or seen what I do, I've got quite a, a, a love. I've got a house that I can grow my business quite a fair bit, and what's behind me is only a tenth of what. I can actually oh, it's, do. It's, yeah, it's nothing. It's yeah. got about another fifteen rooms, and and, that, and that's not to. Stuff. It's not to brag. It's just. No, it is. I I, just, I, I wish it was. I, I, I wish I could. I'll brag when <laughs> he, I've got the cash. When I got the cash. Up north, so. when, I, when I got the cash, I'll brag. It's only now. twenty. It's only twenty pound a month for his mortgage. So he's, he's living 20, up north. Twenty pound. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. I'd love. I love for it to be twenty pound. It's actually twenty pound a loaf, Twenty pound a month for his mortgage and and a loaf of bread's only tuppence tup tup apenny. But, but <laughs> what 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 I'm trying to say is is that when you get yourself in in a rhythm, and the one thing I've done over this last um, last month is I've set goals and targets. And and ten a day is where I'm at. Now that might not seem a lot, but I'll just quickly put it in put it in perspective, just for some people out there. It, but it so, is so, when it is when you've got all your packing and everything else to do. You know, well, you get times, a few good sales a day. Well, ten times listings a day, um, and my mm. average my average profit, my average profit probably works at around about fifteen pounds because we did it we did it today. Remember, it was eighteen pounds yeah. something. Called we went for yeah. it properly. We went for the last. We did it. We did this prior to the show. And it's actually higher than this, but my average listing profit, say, works out about 150. Now, if you times that by 365, which is only 10 items a day, that's 54,750 pounds. 10 a day. Yeah, it's good going. Give or take. 
But you're talking, say, say it's a bit, say it's a bit less than that than profit, forty thousand pounds nonetheless. Let's say, which is about fourteen grand mm -hmm. off that. Yeah, I'm just saying that that's the difference between I'm earning more money than what I would be in an office job. I am my own boss. All right, I've got to deal with them negative phone calls of eBay. Oh, I'm going to find yeah. them really hard to do now. But you also get family time that you wouldn't have had, well, and you get the, the other I'm stuff. Saying, yeah. I was being, I was being hundred percent sarcastic, but, mate. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know I'm that. I'm, I know. That. Listen, I know you. I know you're being sarcastic. You're a sarcastic bastard. But <laughs> you know. I love it that we do this this way. Now yeah, we can actually <laughs> just. It's just like a little chat, chit chat, and it one of our normal, <laughs> one of our normal chats. Standard chat. Yeah, standard, bog standard. But I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, and it it, it amazes me that you got into reselling because you were saying you was watching people like me. Now, at the time, yeah, I was doing really good, and the numbers were really good. The past eight months, the numbers haven't been good um, for various reasons. But I've been working on that. James has been on my back, and you know, most days he'll video call me and I'll still be in bed and he's been up two hours. He's been to the gym. He's done what he's doing. He's packed his parcels. Oh, is that the gym? Or is that the gym? Oh, like that I was the gym? He's, he's, he's messaged me from the old cross trainer before, like video called me from the cross trainer and I'm still in bed and I shouldn't be, but you know, it's partly to do with mood and stuff. Um, because of things that have gone on. Like I say, we'll get into that because like, your mood and like what's going on around you affects all of that. Of course it does. And this has affected me for this long time, you know, and I've gone from earning really, really good money to barely getting by and paying my bills. And James now is what I was to him back then. He's, he's there for me. He's trying to get me G'd up. He's saying, come on, let's get these listings done. Even if, and it will even let me off. Cause like, he'll even say, look, list five a day but then if i if i if I just it's not there or something's happened or i've got to go somewhere else and do this or do that you know he says look list one or two at least you're listing and you know like he said time stamp this because in a year's time we're going to go back to it and it's going to be so different it's going to be so different both our business plans are going to be so different i'm going to be back where i was before i'm going to be earning Good, no, good money you're again. You're going to be further than that, mate. It's, it's good, you know. Yeah, but, I, but no, you are, you are. You get, and that's, we're and starting and this podcast at a good time because I've just had a, a really bad sort of portion of last year and, and all this year, but now we're there and we're starting to build it up again. And like, what we're going to be doing as well is like, obviously, you're going to be seeing all this now, and you're going to be seeing the journey um, of me building the business back up. And obviously, James continuing to build his. So it's a good time to be joining the podcast. But also, what's a Saturday Night Live? That's good as well. That's quality. But this, but this is this is like serious reselling stuff. And this is obviously, we're doing this the last Saturday of every month. And the reason we're doing that is so we can spend time with our family. Because obviously, giving up Saturdays every Saturday is a, is a big thing when your wife sat there all night on her own. So... Definitely. Yeah. So, but the watch, this, watch this space. We're going to be good. It's all going to be good. We're going to be so, smashing it. So, what you said is brings me on to my last little bit because, oh, and I didn't even know what you were talking hey, about. Right? So, I never so know what you're talking about. So, my last little bit that I've put on here is challenge. Oh, there you go. Challenge for the next month, and everyone listening. And everyone who is who is listening so basic, to this, so basically, you're mugging me off now, aren't you? <laughs> you're backing no. me into a corner. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm now. I'm like a rabbit in the headlights. Well, you've said that. It, that uh, you've said that <laughs> this is this is the year. Uh, this is going to happen. Oh, listen, you've, bring, you've it bring it on. Bring it on. Right. Okay. So, so this isn't just for you, Richard. This is for everybody listening. And yeah, if no everyone, else, and just no one else is from, watching. Start, starting from the top of the show, eBay is the enemy. To now, the challenge. Okay, and this is it. This is your challenge, okay? And I have seen a massive, phenomenal difference. And not even just like a little bit. This is a game oh, no, changer. Yeah, no, no, but, me, but this, but this oh, is, this oh. is, this is, but this is my secret. Oh, and this okay. is, and this, but you have to, but whoever is listening, this is for you as well, Richard. And if you mess this up, 
then you know, you've messed yourself up. I, 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 if you want egg on you, your face, you was just fine. about to say screw you. Well, I don't know what I was about to say. I don't you know. Don't, I, I, don't I don't know you were just about I to promise say. you. I promise you. I don't think it was that polite. I think it was worse yeah. than that. But was it? But yeah, horrible. It. <laughs> this is the joys you see being yeah. relaxed. Uh, so the my challenge of the month, and this is for for you and everyone else, is the following. Challenge for the month, for the next month, all you need to do to join in, and this is all you need to do. If you are part-time, then you might not be able to hit this number, but I want to see at least two to three. If you are full-time, Jesus, listening. Jesus, yes. If you're full-time, then I would, and this is just five. This is all I ask. Jesus! All I ask. It's all I ask is five. Jesus. And what I want you to do as of next month not now you can you can you can enjoy your bank holiday weekend and this oh, is a thanks. good time to get your stock it's a good time to get your stock because I've as of stock. sunday I've got, I want no more stock as of sunday it's it's almost like a listing challenge but it's only a listing challenge for yourself as of sunday as of sunday oh, as I'm of doing sunday car, I'm doing a car boot on sunday that's fine as of sunday all the way until the end of uh, end of end of may which is 31 days in may five a day mm. No ifs, no buts, no day. woods, no cuds. Five a day. Can I take a, a day off on Star Wars Day? You can. You can do the following. You can list ten the day before, put five in a draft, and then put them on. Because on Star Wars Day, I like getting dressed up as a stormtrooper. Look, I, I've got an Obi Wan Kenobi outfit. And, Don't and, you worry. And, play, and playing with my lightsaber. Well, I'll play with your lightsaber as long as it doesn't go red. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll definitely feel the force. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear. You are. <laughs> so, uh, so, um, but no, this is, this is, this oh, is the dear. challenge. This is the challenge. 31 days, five a day. I know, I know a lot of people are uh, like, if you're full time, full time, uh, you, you don't need to get involved. If you're already got your own thing, that's cool. Oh, but no, this, but saying but that. But this full time is, this people is, struggle as well. Full time people is, struggle as well. But this is this is this is for people who are just wanting to see what the difference is. So you need mm. to source 155 items to do this, which is which is quite a lot of items when you break it down. Yeah. So, but that's all you. But every day it isn't. It isn't ten one day. Then I'm not going to list. You must. You can list twenty. And then have have fifteen drafts, and then put five on. But the trick is, and the way the, the the way to do this properly is that every single day, five items must go on your eBay store, fresh, not not pull off and relist. None of that, none of that rubbish. Fresh listings, fresh photos, fresh titles, fresh descriptions. Make sure you put in as much information in the boxes as possible. If you can't fill it out, leave it blank. Make sure on your descriptions, take five minutes to actually put something in about the item. If it's blue, if it's got a belt, if it's a blouse, if it's a belt, if it's a video game, it's tested. If it's got small scratches on it, put it's got small scratches. Take a little bit of time and have quality listings. So don't just put five on and be like, oh, I've done five listings and, and JR was wrong. No, you've just done five listings of absolute bollocks. And, and I, I can literally <laughs> go and take five photos and, and, and say that's my wall, that's, that's this, that and the other. Generally, take the time to do five quality listings, upload them with appropriate prices, look at what's sold, and then and then come back to me next month and then tell me that eBay yeah, is the anime. Work. And that eBay is the anime. Mm. Because, that's a good because, challenge. because that's how we start the show and that's how we're ending the show. Nice. Because because we're starting it with why we're, why why I said what I said. I wanted to listen. I agree with everything that Richard says. It is not a perfect platform, but unless you are taking ownership for your own actions, unless you are not do, being Mr. Consistent or Mrs. Consistent or whatever you want to identify as this week, uh, tree consistent, just just be accountable for your own actions. Take a mm. bit of pride in what you're doing. We've mm. all worked for someone. We've all worked our socks for someone. Why aren't you working hard for yourself? And you can say, yeah. oh, maybe, maybe, I, I, whatever you want to say, I'm happy. But I promise well, you. Well, whatever they're going to say, you've heard it from me anyway. So I've heard it a million times. And the thing is, is that all I have done this last month, and I've not done it properly. And by the way, just so you know that accountability, my plan is 10. I'm doing 10 every day next month. You can check my store. There'll be 10 items fresh every single day. 
because I've already done the five. I've gone through the five and now I'm going into the 10. That's the difference. Mm. And then next month, if you want to come join me, you can come join me. But it does, it doesn't happen overnight. And this is, this is, this is for everyone. Now, if you are just a part-time person, make it two a day, make it one a day. If you've got a full-time job, but watch the difference between you listing 30 and then leaving eBay for a couple of weeks, this, that, and the other, and then coming back to it. If you are consistent on the platform, a couple of things are going to happen. eBay are going to see action and activity on your store. And then the other thing that I want people to be doing along with this is when people message you, try and reply to them as quick as possible. I appreciate that eBay is full of the most special people in the world that <laughs> want to know, that want to ask you questions such as, what is the pit to pit? Even though you have clearly identified it on your photos and you've put it in your description, please take into consideration that some people probably don't oh, have eyesight. <laughs> just, oh, people are just special. Some people are just special, but just make sure that you are being polite, make sure you're replying to stuff, and but just do this listing challenge and watch the difference. Yeah. And, and then just remember, after a eBay it, is a special place for special people. Special people. And no matter whatever happens, it might it, it it might not be everything that we want it to be, but it's the best that we've got. Yeah, very true. And very that's true. and that and that is that. Well, I think that was quite good for the first for the first podcast. I'd say we didn't both didn't really know to, what to expect. I didn't know what we were going to talk about. That was quite good doing that. Um, yeah, because it's sort of like I say, I've seen it from both sides. I've seen it from the really good side when things are good and the money's rolling in. And like you said, you know, I've had some good numbers. Um, yeah. But then the last, I say the last eight months have been abysmal and actually a challenge is probably what I need. I mean, yeah. I was going to do it. I was going to, you know, I'm getting there anyway, slowly I'm getting there and I'm pulling stuff out and I am listing stuff, but the you know, some, da some, da some days it is just one or two. Some days it is just one or two. Some days I don't even get that done because, like, I get called away and I've got to do this or I've got to do that. So, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. I'm List definitely up for the challenge. five to stay alive. And I'm doing my first car boot sale at Ford Market on Sunday as well. So, come on. I'm going to get rid that, of a load of stuff as well. That should be a little bit of pot of money. Yeah. That we can start We can start playing around with. Yeah, definitely. And if, definitely. And if you're, and if you're, if you're going to join in, and you're finding things a, a little bit tough or whatever, just, just keep me and know. Richard up on Instagram. Yeah, but we're both there, but we're mm. both going to be doing this. And even yeah. though we can't talk to him, we can't react and we can't listen to Sean, uh, you know, giving his abuse in the chat course, or yeah. Stu coming in. Yeah. yeah. But but so what we'll do is I'll put uh, when 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 we when this goes up, we will um I'll put both the links to both the uh Instagram. Yeah, hundred percent. Anyway, so. And we're both there to kind of talk to, but this is a challenge for 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 everyone who just maybe just maybe needs a little kick up the bum. Mm. And, and, and even real, full timers, and even full timers need it. You know, we've had a little group going on, a little WhatsApp group. You know, and there's been people that sort of smash it most of the time, but even they've gone through the little slump where for two or, for two or three weeks they haven't wanted to do eBay's put them off, and they haven't wanted to do anything. What I will say is if you can do thirty me. if you can do thirty one days consistently five a day, you will absolutely be shocked oh. with the results what eBay will do. And I think what you'll also be shocked with is that by the end of that, the feeling that you will have from being consistent compared to just generally listing, you mm. will feel so much better about. Yeah. I have been doing ten. And I've now gone on to my, I think I'm kind of my ninth consistent day of, of never not doing less than 10. And I get better and better and better every day. Not necessarily faster, but I just feel like that's me done. It's a, it's a routine. It's like going to the gym. When you first go to the gym, it's hard. It's hard work yeah, yeah. and it's horrible. Once you've been going a few months, it's easier. Or a few weeks, it gets easier and it gets easier. And it's going to be the same with listing. You know, sometimes when, when you go to start your listings you think oh, i've got to list five things it seems like an impossible task and it's really not it might be difficult when you first start it but believe me but you know james has just challenged just challenged all of us so you know so i'm up for the challenge and i know listing those even just five a day is going to be difficult for me 
to do that five a day because of my life and how it is. But by the end of the 31 days, you're going to be worrying, wondering what it was all about, what all, the, what all the worry and the fuss was, I reckon. But, but I don't want people to just get to it and then stop. No, keep no, going. Got to keep going. That's what, and and we're we're gonna be we're gonna be checking up on you. So don't 100%, worry about that. A hundred percent. And the thing is, is that the bigger the the biggest winner is not me. It's not you, Richard. Uh, obviously, it will be because you're getting involved. But it is yourself, and you're gonna mm. see that hard work. And if you do a crap job and you do a crap listing and you're just gonna list DVDs and media, then more for you. That's all I'll say. Mm. Unless your media is like what Brum reseller sells at twenty five pound, thirty pound, a hundred pound of vinyl, then Cushy, you who's, list them. Who's, who's that? Who's Brum reseller? Hey, well, it might it might come on the podcast one time if we're really lucky. Oh yeah, that's, that's who true. Knows? Who keep knows? Him sweet. But honestly, I, 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 this is you know who you are if you're listening to this and you're thinking, yeah, that's me. Then that th there is no shame in being in not in not being in this mindset. We are all going through this together. We all have problems. We all have ups. We all have downs. Yep. But this is this is the point in stop seeing eBay as the enemy and start taking ownership for your own actions. And the small steps become big steps before you know it. And I that, think that's a good, I think that's a good place to end on that. And that's how I like to end it. <laughs> well, there you go. See? Well, thank you, James, for that. I, I, so I didn't expect what we were going to talk about. I didn't know what we were going to talk about. Yeah, so I enjoyed that. Um, and hopefully everybody else did. So we're going to sign off here now. Definitely. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you look forward to the next one. See you guys See you later. later. Bye. Bye.